Well, 253 college athletes were selected in the 2016 National Football League draft, but the 155th pick was special to the Brainerd community. It was Brainerd High School alum Joe Haig, who will now look to continue his football career playing professionally for the Indianapolis Colts. Our Chelsea Brown has more. Playing cards how North Dakota State University offensive lineman Joe Haig and sister Laura kept themselves busy while occasionally glancing up at the television to watch the NFL draft selection and patiently wait for the phone call Joe had hoped for all weekend. Hey coach, how you doing? Awesome, very awesome. On the line was Indianapolis head coach Chuck Pagano informing Haig the Colts had selected him as the 155th pick in the NFL draft. <laughs> It was crazy. My hands were shaking a little bit. Just got so excited. But uh, you know, I saw Indianapolis' pick coming up, and I knew they really liked me, and I uh, had a lot of interest in them. Uh, and then I saw saw that uh, a number come up and say Indianapolis, and I was uh, I was very excited. Just waiting was nerve wracking. We were trying to stay calm, but when he got that phone call, I knew that was it. It was pretty quiet, and then, and then all of a sudden, I think we just heard Joe say Indian Indianapolis, yeah, and, we and we all then it was like, up. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it went from being very calm to pretty crazy pretty quick. The craziness picked up as neighbors and family members showed their excitement with texts and phone calls following the announcement. Joe even made a quick call to his high school buddies where his journey began. <laughs> when I was a freshman, I was only, gosh, like 5'10", 160 pounds. Uh, I was in the B team of the ninth grade team. Just, uh, just wasn't a great player, but uh, you know, after that, I just kind of committed myself to the weight room. I uh, started working on my feet uh, and just kind of it just developed ever since that same mentality of I'm not trying to get better necessarily to, you know, for me individually, but for my teammates. And that's kind of the same process I've had at, you know, Brainerd and at NDSU. Coming from the player who did not receive interest from Division I colleges after high school, but instead walked on to the program at NDSU and is leaving with five national championships. His family said watching his development has been very surreal. Never. No. no. Um, we were excited when he was playing varsity football. And then the whole college thing was so exciting, but no. This is my little brother. This is <laughs> the kid I used to be able to meet up on, or try to. Um, and now he's going into the NFL. That's just, that's huge. Joe will be setting aside the green and gold, and it will be back to blue. Back to that blue. works, that works, yeah. yeah. Yeah, go Colts, huh? It'll be awesome. I love the old blue and white. Uh, still love the green and yellow, but uh, that's all right. Something Brainerd fans will enjoy in the community where it all started. Yeah, it's awesome. I have amazing support here with my family, my friends. Uh, it's just, uh, it's amazing, and I am very, you know, thankful for everything that I've got. We're just uh, more, more than blessed to be able to, uh, to watch Joe go through all this with our whole family and our whole community. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. Haig will leave Thursday for the Colts rookie minicamp and then will fly back to Fargo May 9th to finish his finals at NDSU. He'll graduate with a degree in civil engineering. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.